Okay, so despite my daughter making fun of me, I have actually made some progress today. I actually got all of my pictures printed out. They're not all in here yet, but um, the every wallet size one is printed for every day. Just a tip if you don't want to, like me, I have no ink in my printer, so I had to do this at Walgreens. Instead of paying for wallets, what I do is I go to their collage prints on Walgreens.com, and you can get two different photos on one page for 29 cents. So the total print, the total 4x6 print, is 29 cents on Walgreens.com, and they have a promotion this week um, for a $20 order. You type in 10 DLLRS and you get $10 off of a $20 order. So that's how I did mine. Um, printed a whole bunch of the cruise pictures and stuff like that. So I am starting to get caught up. All my journaling is already um, taken care of. I just have to put them on pages. So that's what I started today. Um, so you'll remember, oh, I have to show this. This is so cute. Does this look familiar? It says, good idea. You are a genius. So Marion Smith, when she started her very her front cover, she has a light bulb on it. So I thought this was so great to actually find this piece of ephemera. It was actually in that paper line I found today at Tuesday morning called Melody Ross um, Homespun. So this was a piece of ephemera in that. So I'm going to print a little picture of Marion Smith and put her website down here as that was the inspiration for this album. So I thought that was just perfect and had to put that on the cover. So then her first page is an envelope that she made. So I had this die cut and I made a pocket page out of it. it. has my girls and then I just thought this was a really cute picture of my husband with his parents on January 1st. So just loved that. And I wanted my journaling to be subtle so that's day one and I finished my journaling. Now this is day two with my friend Heather. And again, this is a chipboard set from uh, Melody Ross. And this is actually a piece of card ephemera from Webster's Pages. And it says, I believe we can do it. And that's when we made the covers for our journal, which was January 2nd. So Marion Smith for page two, she has an envelope. Um, this one just happened to be a craft envelope I already had that was pre-made from Maya Road. So I just distressed the edges and then I added some stamping right there and then I added some more ephemera from Webster's Pages and then this is another sticker from Melody Ross that I just put in the center of that. Then inside I did my journaling on a tag and I loved this piece of ephemera. Again came with Melody Ross for January 2nd, 2012. Artsy Chicks! And I even put names on this one. Heather, me, and Jennifer, because we were the three chiquitas that, that were supposed to get together on January 2nd, but Jennifer's dad, got uh, grandpa, got really sick, so she was out of town. So instead, it was just me and Heather, but I thought that was very fitting. <laughs> so it was really cute. And then the back, it's more of a sentimental thing about me and Heather, but always look for the good things, and that's what she always looks for in other people. She's just a great friend, so... I had to write a nice, sappy message about her, of course. So that goes in here. And then I just glued two buttons um, on top of the little holders. And that holds that page in place. So that's day two. Day three, I'm actually missing a picture. I forgot to print off that other one. So this is actually the... It's so dark, sorry. Um, this is actually the first day that my girls had their tutoring session in Japanese with my friend Noriko. They're learning how to write hiragana and katakana. And that's for day three. And I have not mounted the journaling on here yet. So that's my day three page. Again, Marion Smith's day three was really simple. Day four is going to take me a little more time to figure out because she did like this envelope thing. And I got to figure out how to make that with what I got. And then she also printed off an index page, but again, I'm out of ink. So I had this piece of ephemera from Melody Ross, which is an index card, and so I'll stick that in here 
on my day four and five. So it's coming along. I don't want to rush it because I want it to look as nice as Marion's. So um, that is what I have done so far. And it's been really fun. And I'll keep you updated as I finally add my other 20-some pages to it that need to be added. Thanks for watching.